tickets, right? I've done a lot of questions like here and 3A. This is one question that the, the amount of layers is a lot, okay? It's not difficult. It's just a lot of stages, okay? So from here, we have omega A, R A, omega C, R C. Okay, so we know omega A is equal to 15.78. R A is equal to, I can't remember now, 0 0.05. And then we have omega C is what we want to find out. RC is equal to 0 0.15. Okay. So omega C will be equal to 15.78, which is equal to 5.26 radians per second. And this is also equal to omega D because of what? Again, rigid body. Okay. So from here, lastly, we know that the velocity at D is equal to what? Uh, omega D, RD. So this is equal to 5.26. Multiply by RD, which is equal to 0 0.075. And finally, 5.26. My calculator say index error. 0 0.395 meters per second, and this is equal to the velocity of block B. Okay. There you go. As I said, I think in, in all the example I, I on the on the textbook okay this is the one of the worst question that you can ever get okay i will make sure that in the homework there's a question very similar to this for you to practice are we clear so just look at it okay like look at my notes okay and 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 go through it okay as i said i do apologize last thursday i i really did a really shitty job okay i will own it up okay is it better today yes or no okay you can see much more clearer now as i said multiple layers okay right so the next thing that we are going to do we are going to proceed with acceleration on a point within a body okay we are going to do this now okay right so there's a diagram that you all need to 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 get I think I posted on Monday or earlier. I can't remember now. Wait, there's a diagram that I need you all to. Where is that diagram? It's not on Monday. Okay, there's this diagram that is on last Thursday. Can you all get this diagram from, from your notes? Okay, because I'm going to teach from this diagram. Okay, if you could. I don't want you to draw, but try to get the diagram if you could. Okay. Right. Just to quickly uh, recap, where are we going to go within here? So we are going to talk about what we are now going to go into the topic. Of acceleration. Okay, on a point within a rigid body. Okay, so this diagram you can see why it's obvious that this is what rotating about a fixed axis, as you can see. Now, question for you, the diagram show part of the diagram that is bluish shady in color. What does that mean? What does that mean? It's not that you did not pay enough for the textbook. They want to highlight to you that within that blue thing is your what? Rigid body. Are we clear? I used to like, what? I did not pay enough, so they can't color everything blue. Okay, no. 
they bound it in, inside a layer over there, and that is going to be your what? Your rigid body. Okay. So there are so our, there, there are a few things I want you all to see. You have a point P, right? You have a AT and then a, a subscript N. Okay. So we are going to talk about what does that actually mean? Okay. So first thing that we're going to do is we are going to look at the tangential. Uh, component of acceleration so what you have is a tangential is equal to alpha r okay the r correspond to the radius alpha correspond to the so alpha Over here, correspond to your angular acceleration. Radians per second squared. And then R is equal to the radius or correspond to the radius. Okay. Now we also know that AT is equal to zero. Okay. During what? Constant velocity. Okay. Now the normal. Component of acceleration is equal to a n okay, omega squared r. We've seen this before. Remember in vibration, right? When when the motor spin. It has an acceleration which is equal to what? Omega squared r. Okay. And we can only feel omega squared r if it's rotating about a what? A fixed axis. If you are heading straight, you don't feel it. But when you are going round about a center, you will feel it. How many of you love roller coaster? There you go. You love that sensation. Okay. Where omega is your angular velocity, and this is in radians per second. Okay, and a n. I want you to take a note. I want you to take a note about what the a n direction. Okay, so the a n. Uh, is always pointing. Okay, it's always pointing towards O. Okay, towards point O, which is the center of the path. So we are aware that acceleration is equal to dv by dt. Okay, we know that. And note for this case is rotation about a fixed axis where you have v is equal to omega r. Okay. So from here, we can write up this expression over here. We have D, okay, omega R divided by what? Divided by DT. Okay. 
So this correspond equal to E omega over DT, okay, cross R plus by omega cross dr over dt important okay what's so important is this over here x correspond to cross is it cross product in vector? Do you call that? Right? It's a cross product. Okay. So we we are aware. Okay. So we are aware, note that d omega over dt is equal to alpha. Right, we know that this is equal to alpha. And we also know dr over dt, which is equal to velocity. And velocity is also equal to omega cross r. Okay. So therefore, a is equal to alpha cross r plus omega cross with bracket omega cross r okay. so over here right we tend this will become a is equal to a tangential plus by A in the normal direction. Okay. And we tend to write this out where A tangential is alpha cross R. And take note over here, we change this to minus and it becomes omega cross omega cross R. And why this is changed to minus because point the a n is pointing towards the what towards the center okay. and finally a in magnitude can be determined it can be determined from or by the below expression a is equal to square root of a t squared plus by a n squared Are we clear so all this they are in what vector form you cannot just by like you calculate alpha cross r and just add them they are all in what vector form okay yes e r o yes uh the radius did not change because it's equal to zero You're right. The radius will not change with time. Don't know the answer yet about the question. Okay. Don't you dare. Then why do you write it? Don't you dare. Okay. I'm following the textbook. <laughs> Let me think. I'll come back to you. Are we clear? Okay, I'm not going to list this out. So, yeah, when I, when I write this out, I realize that this is not a function of time. But, hold on. Mathematically possible. 
physically what you see down here is not possible let me find out why okay i'll circle i'll not let this go okay i want to find out why also okay 